Okay, let's get started. Uh, this is my first time logging into Goals on Track. I just uh, got all logged in here. And what I wanted to do with this video is show you how easy or hard this uh, software is to use in terms of getting set up with goals. So I have not set anything up yet. And I just wanted to walk you through the back office so you can see uh, what all there is and how easy it is to get going with your goals. So this is the dashboard. You can add a different widget here by just clicking on new widget and then you would have another widget up here uh, that you could look at. So when you first log in, you've got your task for the day, you've got your habits, goal for the week, and uh, get started with, you know, whatever. So you can customize this as much as you want. And then over here on the left, you've got your goals. So you could set active goals. Uh, there's a bunch of different categories, home, personal work, uh, time frame. So if it's something that you want to do short term, like in the next 30 days, midterm would be six months, long term is five years. You, I'm, you know, for me, long term would be one year, but um, they've got five years down here and it, it wouldn't hurt to set actually some five year goals. Uh, and then over here, there's tasks, so things that you're going to do towards working towards your goal. And you can also sync this up with your favorite calendar so that when you're in your calendar, you can uh, also see what all needs to be done for that day. Habits, you can track uh, whether or not you've done uh, your tasks that you set out. So you would just click in here and mark off, yeah, I did it, I did it, I did it. So since today's the 31st, that's the only one I can mark. Because uh, you can't mark in the future because you haven't done it yet. So, uh, and then it'll keep track of your habits here. Uh, one of the great features that I really like about this is the vision board. Now, uh, usually when you're setting goals, it's just a pretty straightforward dry calendar. Do this from this time to that time. But part of accomplishing goals, also, if you can include your senses, you are much more likely to achieve your goal. So not only is it uh, being specific with your goal, but if you can bring in vision, uh, pictures, kind of like a vision board. A lot of people have talked about the vision board really helping them to uh, see what it is that they want to achieve and help them to achieve it. So they do have a whole bunch of pictures in here that you can use uh, or you can upload your own pictures and put them in here and then create a slideshow of your uh, dream board. So when you first log in, uh, if you um, wanted to just start with the vision board, just go through your vision and then look at the dashboard in terms of your tasks for the day and then you know exactly what you need to do that way that day and then there's also uh, music so if you wanted to add music to your slideshow that will also not only vision but hearing that again will really set your goal uh, into your subconscious so that you are much more likely to achieve it and then over here there's the journal so you can create a new journal entry uh, some people like to keep track of what they accomplished, what they didn't accomplish, what they need to work on. Other people like to create a gratitude journal so that you're thinking of all the positive things that happened. So you can customize this and make it kind of whatever kind of journal you want it to be. Uh, you could view your journal by your goals, uh, create an entry. It's all very... Um, it's all pretty straightforward. So you would title your entry. You could say gratitudes for January 31st. And then this is just a very straightforward um, editor here. And you can attach it to a goal if you want and then click save. Documents, if there's any other documents you want to upload or review, you can just drag and drop them in here. Uh, and then reports would be uh, if you wanted an overview of your goals that you accomplished, tasks you completed, habits, and this is over time. So this will give you just kind of a whole uh, graph, daily, weekly, monthly graph that you can um, click on here. And then you can customize this part here. And then of course there's your login settings here. So uh, in terms of the dashboard, let's say I wanted to create a goal um, and I'm gonna go to the templates. So the, uh, they, they've got a number of templates if you want to lose weight or just work out regularly. So this would be one that I would want to do. Um, 
declutter. I, my home could certainly use some decluttering, but I don't really want that on my goal thing. Uh, saving money is always great to do. Create a monthly passive income. I would raise that number up a little bit. But um, let's just for uh, sake of doing something, let's say use this template. Uh, start working out regularly. Um, uh, tasks would be uh, prepare two sets of workout clothes, go for a 30 minute walk after dinner, uh, go to the gym or swimming pool every week. So this, you know, swimming pool because of COVID, they're mostly closed now. So habits would be uh, things that you want to develop to replace maybe a habit that you're trying to get rid of. So take the stairs instead of the elevator, mark on your calendar every day that you've done your workout and increase workout intensity intensity 10%. So this really gets you specific on what you need to do um, to achieve your goals. So the steps that you need to take. So start date, uh, action plan would be task. I don't need to buy a calendar. Um, so let's see here, create goal from template. So let's go ahead and click on this. And so then there's the goals here. Start working out regularly. Let's edit this here. Um, start date, let's put that there. End date, I want more than just three months of this thing. So we'll say end date would be, um, let's say December, oops, that went too far. December 31, 2021. Uh, track progress by total. Yeah, I like to keep track of how many times I actually worked out. Um, uh, what does it look like when you achieve your goals? Let's see. Um, my uh, waist size has reduced by one size and um, my um, well, let's see here. Mm, yeah, let's make this a little more specific. Reduced by two inches, and my weight has gone down by 10 pounds. Okay, I'm just making this up on the spot. So, goal color, you can pick a color. Um, let's see here. Let's pick. Uh, I'll pick force green for action. Uh, picture URL, they've got a picture already picked out for you. Category is health. Um, and then we will save this here, save this goal. And then we want to, um, let's see here, action plan. Um, tasks. Uh, I don't need to buy a calendar for workout days. Uh, my task will be um, enter workout days into goal. Whoops, goals on. I uh, wish I could spell on track. Um, let's see what's more options. Start working out regularly, plan time, let's say uh, 30 minutes. Okay. Oh, plan time. Let's go over here, I did it this, okay, 30. And outcome, amount of progress you made on the goal. Okay, so that will get entered as you go along, and we'll say uh, I'm, if there's any notes, um, if I want to make a note about that specific task, and is this recurring? Yes, I want to work out, um, let's say weekly on um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Hey, this is pretty cool. Okay, and then I'm going to say save. Um, there we go. And then prepare two sets of workout clothes. I've already got my workout clothes. I don't need to worry about that. Um, so we can, again, edit this just like I walked through with the other one. Uh, dreams. And so you've got your active goals, uh, dreams, and someday 
uh, you would enter this under your goals. This is the, the five-year plan. Um, and then, like I said, you can break this out into home goals or personal goals or work goals um, and keep track of your different categories. So there is so much that you can uh, do with this program in terms of creating your goals. It's, um, I like the way that everything is all uh, together so that you can um, access everything all at once. Uh, some of the other productivity apps, uh, like I've said in some of the other reviews, you know, they're mostly if you're working with a team of assistants and you're tracking progress towards completing a project, those ones work great for that. But in terms of actually um, achieving the goals that you set out for yourself, um, I am finding that this, I really like the way that this thing is set out. And um, anyway, so I am going to um, get going on creating all of my goals and habits in here. And uh, make sure if you have any questions, enter them below. And uh, I will be uh, adding some other videos up at the top. So make sure you um, click on the playlist and uh, check out some of the other videos.